Today I want to cover the built-in portfolio function that is built into some of our WordPress themes, such as the Fairlight theme for WordPress. Um, here I am on one of the portfolio category pages. Uh, I've loaded a bunch of pictures on the wedding um, category here. And you can see when I click one of these, I am brought to um, the portfolio page where I have added more images. Um, on this particular theme, you can also navigate to other uh, portfolio pages with the links right here. So I want to show you how to set this up. The first thing that you need to do is in your um, WordPress admin area is install a plugin. So you're going to go to plugins, add new, and then you want to install the portfolio post type plugin and activate it. This is going to put this little portfolio tab in your left sidebar here, and this is how you're going to manage all your portfolio items. Now, there are multiple ways you could set this up, but I'm going to tell you what I feel is the best way to do it. So I would start by adding in portfolio categories. So click on that link and you can see here that I already have three categories set up. I have engagement, lifestyle, and wedding. Um, you can add your categories here. So you just type in the name, um, sample. Um, you don't have to change the slug, but you can if you want to. And if you want it to be a parent of, or if you want, if you want it to nest under one of these existing categories, you can do that as well. You can click Add New, and then it's going to add it to your portfolio categories. Um, you might want to come in here and click on Edit for the categories. Um, this is depending on your theme. It's going to tell the page to display a certain information. So if you don't come down here and add, edit the portfolio category archive settings and add a headline and intro text, it will not show up on our theme. So um, you can see here I'm on the engagement page. And I have the title here, so type in the title that you want right there for your category. And then if you want any intro text, you can add that there as well. And it does accept HTML code, so you can add links or whatnot there. And you can see here I just added that little snippet just to tell people um, I don't have any pictures here for the engagement category, so if you want the full demo, please go to the wedding category. Okay, always make sure you update that. And once you've done that and have your category set up, you can start adding portfolio items. To do that, you're going to click on Add New Item. And then you can enter your uh, title here. So I'm just going to enter in Sample Portfolio Page Number 1. You can um, choose a category here that it belongs to. I'm going to do Lifestyle for this one. And you can add portfolio tags if you want to, too, although that is, of course, optional. Now, you want to set a featured image, and the featured image is going to be what shows up on the portfolio category page. So for this Natalie and Chance page, I set the featured image to this image here. And same with Millie and Kurt. I set the featured image to her. Um, the theme will resize the photo, so you can see these are all here in squares. You don't have to do that. It'll do it. WordPress will do that automatically. So just click on Set Featured Image, and I have some um, uploaded stock photos here I'm going to use. So this is a lifestyle one, so I'm going to use this picture here for my featured image. And just click on Set That. Now I want to scroll back up to this area, and this is where I'm actually going to add the content of that page. So when you click on this, I need to add this stuff in so it'll show up when you click it. So uh, you, if you wanted to install a separate um, gallery plugin, something with a slideshow, something like that, you could do that. I'm keeping it simple, so I'm just going to add my photos, and I'm just going to select both of these and I'm just going to change this. The alignment is centered. I'm linking it to nothing and I want it to display a full size. Um, and I'm going to do the same for this photo here. 
Um, I'm just holding down my shift key so I can select both and then I'll insert into post and there they are both inserted. So I'm going to click on publish. Mm -hmm. We're still loading. There we go. Okay. Now when I go to portfolio and click on lifestyle I should have this post that pops up here and when I click on it you'll see my content. So I have that photo and I have that photo. I don't have any um, oh I do have a link down here that will go to the next uh, gallery and I wanted to point out too that the comments will um, show up naturally or automatically so if you want to turn that off you can just scroll down on your post editor page and untick allow comments and probably untick the allow checkbacks and pingbacks on this page as well. So that'll get rid of that. I just think it looks a little messy to have comments on this page, but whatever you want to do is fine. So that's all there is to it. Um, it's pretty simple to manage and uh, you, you can play around with it as much as you want. Um, this is just a tutorial that shows you how to set it up in a pretty simplistic manner. So, thanks for watching.